Hi everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how the parameters can affect the geometry of a solid when you're working with a 3D parametric modeling software. I am going to use Autodesk Fusion 360. Just remember that we are going to do a very, very basic model. In particular, it is a plate with holes because it's very important to focus on the parameters, not on the complexity of the model at the moment. I want to be able to change the length of the plate and the number of holes accordingly. To do so, I'm going to start from the very beginning, so don't worry. The first operation I have to do is to create a basic sketch I just choose a plane and I create a square. Basically, I want the first dimension to be set at the beginning and the second one to be the same as the first one. It is very easy, but if you have any trouble, just create a dimension, then open the parameter list and change the values of those dimensions from the list. So, I'm going to create a third value. This will help me to control the number of holes and the length of the plate afterwards. At the moment I just create the parameter with a name x and a description which is control value. Then I keep going creating an extrusion so I will have my plate. I'm just inputting five millimeters to see the thickness and then on this surface I'm going to create the hole. In order to create it, since I want it to be in exactly in the middle of the face, I use some lines which are construction lines and I am going to block those lines with dimensional constraint which are dimensions. I want it to be in the middle of the face so it's the position of the center of the circle that would be the hole would be at half of the length and the half of the height. So it's very easy. I create the first line, I create the second line, I input the dimension and I just make sure that both lines are construction. So it's a dotted line, it's not a continuous line. Then I create the circle. The circle would be a quarter of the height. I create a circle, I input a dimension and then I just make sure that this line instead is not a dotted one but is a continuous line because I need to extrude it. Well, as soon as I do that, the next step is to extrude the hole. The hole is an extrusion with a cut boolean operator. I just select the distance or the direction and in this case I go through all and I create the hole. Then I check on the parameters. And I see that I have more parameters. I need to rename them and to check on their dimensions. As you can see, if I change the value of the x parameter, the length of the plate will change accordingly. That's okay, but I also want that as soon as I change the value of x, also the number of holes will change accordingly. So I just rename all the values of the parameters that I created this time. I have to create another feature. I have to repeat this hole so that the software will know that Two will be two holes, one will be one. The perfect feature is the pattern, the rectangular pattern. I just have to input the directions. As you can see, there are two small arrows and the distance, the distance in between two holes that will be a value that I already know is the height and the number of holes, which will be my X parameter. It's okay, on one direction I will have just one hole, of course. On the other one, the number of holes will change. So, at this point I have two holes. I need to do something else. First of all, I open the parameter list again and I change the name of the parameters that I need to recognize.
As soon as I do that, I can go back to my x value. What happens if I change that value now? Let's see. I try with 1 and it works. Then I change from 1 to 4 and it works again. I keep changing it and it works. So as you can see, I can use the parameters without editing the feature from our 3D modeling environment. That's possible as well, but it's a little bit more complicated and too risk to make mistakes. I really, really hope this tutorial was helpful for you and it helped you understand something more about 3D parametric modeling. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.